first two pages of the lightning thief is Percy saying, I've been kicked out of nine schools. I see things that nobody else believes is there. My stepdad makes me give him money and then hits me. <laughs> like, no. What else do you need? And I'm like, you are a literal like walking definition of PTSD straight out of the DSM-5. <laughs> a book doesn't have to be about trauma, whatever that means. Like, it doesn't have to be like a sad after school special in order to have traumatized people in it. Like every, literally every single Percy Jackson book is about trauma because every person in it is traumatized. Like everyone, everyone has PTSD in this, in this world. There's no way that they don't because, because of what they experience. Yeah. And so it was so weird to hear somebody be like, oh, it can't be that they're traumatized because this book isn't about that. And it's like, every single book is about that like this entire book series is about that <laughs> and so rental trauma if if you want to get like just you know the very very basic outline it's all about how these kids have trauma from their god parents somebody said that, like on that that video that i made talking about this one comment i got was somebody being like too many people have read fan fiction and that's the only way and by that what they mean is that the only way that people understand what they think like PTSD is, is by somebody who wrote the most overdramatic version of it in a fan fiction. And it would be like the weirdest experience on planet earth that like 19 years into like writing these books for Rick Riordan to all of a sudden just have Percy be like, I'm traumatized. And it's like, we yeah. know, <laughs> like, like, like everything he does is like, you know, somewhat affected by that, the decisions he makes, the things that he does, the people he's friends with, how he reacts to things. That's been him since the very first book. And so it would be super weird. <laughs> and like all these books in for him to suddenly like say that out of nowhere. And it's like, yeah, we know, dude, like everyone else is too. We don't, it would just be so weird for him to say that now, like, oh, I'm not making friends at school because I'm traumatized by everything that's happened to me. And it's like, yeah, you didn't have friends when you were 12, mm -hmm. like much less now when you're 18. <laughs> like we, it was just so weird that I was like, that made me feel like you almost need to like have permission to do things that you do because you're traumatized <laughs> or you need to like admit it first for people to realize that's where it's coming from or something. Well, I don't if, know. if you actually do admit it in real life, how many times do you get the reaction of, ah, not everything's about your trauma, stop being a victim. <laughs> You need to handle your own triggers. Your triggers are not our responsibility. And da -da 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 -da. 